everyone welcome to pep coding so the question which we are going to solve today is called normal star first let us understand the question and then we'll head over to the solution so we have been given the task to create a star today we have been using the star which the java was already providing for us but now we need to create a star ourselves and we need to create all of its functions so the functions which we are going to work with will be size for push display as well as top we will be given two things first one will be a data array and the second will be top of star so let us understand how we will do this first we will do the push function so let us take an example if we have a star available for us if the star is empty the value of top of star will be equal to minus 1 as soon as I'll push a value onto the stack, the value of top of stack will increase and become 0. That is, it will be incremented by 1. Then by adding another value, it will again increase and this will go on. So in this case, where we have 4 elements, top of stack will lie at 3. Okay. So when we are pushing elements onto the stack, we need to take care of the fact that we have to increase the value of top of stack by 1. And in that position, we will push our element. So if the capacity of a stack is equal to 5, we have 4 elements, right? So first, I will increase the value of top of stack by 1 and it will become 4. And at 4th position, I will put my 5th element, right? So there will be a case where if I have already reached my capacity, right and i try to push a value onto the stack which is exceeding the capacity in that case we are going to print overflow otherwise we'll keep on increasing the value of top of stack by one and we'll keep on putting the element on that position next we have the size function so see i have five elements on the stack right and the value of top of stack for the last element is equal to four so for five elements top of stack will be equal to 4 that means size or the number of elements which we want is equal to top of stack plus 1 right okay now we have the next function which is the pop function so here we have top of stack as 4 for the pop function i will remove the value which is lying at the top of stack right so the element which will lie at the top of stack position of the array that will be removed and we will also have to decrement top of stack right in this case for 50 top of stack is lying at 4 i want top of stack to point to 40 so i need to decrement it by 1 so that it can point over here okay but now there can be a case where we have a stack which is empty right and for empty stack, as we discussed, top of stack will be equal to minus 1. So if top of stack is equal to minus 1, that means there is no element on the stack to be able to remove, right? So in this case, we will print underflow and we will return minus 1. This is how pop function works. The next function which we will work with is top. It works in the same manner as pop function. We need but now we don't need to remove the value at the top of stack we need to just display it or we just need to return it so what we are going to do is we are going to display the element which is lying at the top of the stack right and in this case we don't need to do anything to the value of top of stack again we have a condition where we do not have any elements onto the stack that is top of stack will be equal to minus one so if top of stack will be equal to minus 1, we don't have any value at the top of stack. So we are going to print underflow and we are going to return minus. Then we have the display function. The display function helps us to display the values from the top of stack to the bottom. Right. So what we are going to do is we will start from the top of stack and we will keep on going till 0. So we are going to print 50, then 40. 30 20 and then 10 this is how our output will be received 
so now we have discussed all these functions and now we are going to code these okay so the first function which we are working with is the size function so here we will return top of stack plus one as it will give us the number of elements which are present in the stack for display i am working from the top of the stack to the bottom so we will start from the top of stack position and we will go to the bottom and display all the elements along with the space and then we will give a next line now we are working with the push function so when we are working with the push function we need to make sure that we are not exceeding the capacity of the stack so if i have a stack where the capacity is 3 and i try to put a fourth element onto this stack i will not be able to do so so for this condition i need to print overflow to the user so we are going to check for this that if top of stack lies at the end of the array that is the array is now full in this case we are going to print stack overflow okay and if that is not the condition we need to increase the value of top of stack by one first right so if the capacity was not three if it was four my top of stack is lying at second position i want to put value at the third position so i need to bring top of stack to three right and then at that position i will put my value so i will increase the value of top of stack by one and then at that position i will put my value okay now we have pop function so in case of pop function what i need to do is i first need to check whether the stack is empty so if the stack is empty that means top of stack is equal to minus one i have to print underflow and return minus one okay so we are going to work for this case first that if top of stack is minus 1 I will print stack underflow and I will return minus 1 ok otherwise I will take a value right I, if I need to pop 30 from the stack, I will check and take the value on the top of stack, right? So, at this position, the value will be given to me in a val variable. Then, I need to decrease top of stack. Why? Because I want top of stack to point to this value now. As 30 for us does not exist anymore. So, top, top of stack should point to 20 now. So top of stack will also be decreased by 1. So we are taking a value from top of stack. And we are decreasing the value of top of stack. And we are returning the value which we stored. For top, again we will check whether the stack is empty. That is top of stack is minus 1. And in that case, we are going to print stack underflow, right? And we will return minus 1. Otherwise, we will simply return the value which is lying at top of stack. Now, we have discussed all these questions or functions. Now, let us try to run this program okay the answer is accepted now now we'll try to submit this
and it is correct. So we discussed the normal stack question today. I hope you understood the question as well as the solution. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.